a blunder and a mistake, which pretty much sums up this game right here. Excuse me. Anyway, first an announcement. Uh, this game, as you can tell if you're a subscriber, basically this game comes out late. Uh, yesterday I was changing the format a little bit and I'm depending on screencast annotation feature which actually saves me time. The problem with it, it is that the uh, transcription, the transcribing option sometimes takes a while. That's why uh, yesterday's video was late so I decided to just release it today. So that's what happens. But if you notice, uh, basically the games, uh, basically I'm going to start piling on, like pre-record my games over here. So hopefully that will not happen again. Anyway, let's begin with the game. Normally I start with puzzles. Another change of format is that I'm just going to do the puzzles as it happens. So you want to basically go to the timeline times times and say puzzle number one, puzzle number two, puzzle number three, and so on. Uh, I have five puzzles for you today. So I'm just going to pause the games basically at its at, as its puzzles happens over here. So that makes the recording session a bit faster and that's hopefully it will enable me to uh, basically build up kind of pre-record uh, games in the future so I will not miss a day. Anyway, let's begin. This is the first move of the game. This opening is basically Owen Defense other variation. This is not my standard opening. My usual opening is modern defense. This is Owen Defense. Another thing that I like over here is that it's basically unique and not too many people know the intricacies of the opening, which is fine by me over here, like that. Now, this is puzzle number one. White has just moved the queen to g4. What should I do? Now, if you think over here that this is open right here and that I should just go take this one and fork the king, the computer will agree with you. But I disagree with that one because this thing over here and this thing over here. So, per usual, I only play blitz games. I play blitz games a lot nowadays, so I cannot basically spend a lot of time doing the tactical intricacies, uh, the soundness of this game. So I decided to make it uh, like a defensive move right here. So it covers this one right here. So next move. And the bishop has just taken my net over here. Puzzle number two. What should I do? Anyway, oh, the obvious answer would be to recapture with this pawn right here. Threaten the queen and everything speech uh, Move over here and maybe the queen can move here or maybe the knight can move here and castle. I don't want to castle this way so queen would move here. So queen would move here and then the king would castle. So it's fine move, of course. That's not what happened. <laughs> That's not what I did. Uh, again, this is a blunder over here. You can tell that evaluation just immediately goes to six right there. Big blunder right here. So that's that's a mistake on my part. Anyway, next move. So that queen move is useless. 
and you can tell the bishop is preventing my king from castling. So basically, uh, just desperation over here. Turns out this is the right move because evolution goes back to zero over here. But what could have uh, won if it's pushed the advantage over here? Suddenly, I'm winning. So suddenly, I have advantages right here. This is the right move over here. Maybe I should have put it as a puzzle, but I don't think this is like too big of a deal. So I decided not to put this one as a puzzle. And yes, I give up the right to castle over here. But at this point in time, this is the ending. This, as far as I'm concerned, this is the end game of here already. I have a very strong pawn structure. There's a lone pawn over here that needs to be guarded. Otherwise, uh, you know, it, this is a ending over here. Yeah, I can do that. So anyway. That's guarding, and that's over here. T uh, trying to take the, the pawn over here. I wonder why I didn't just do that one. Anyway, boom, and take that, and take and cut that, cut that. Take three pawn over there. King is cutting the square out over here. The knight moved there. Uh, trying to get back into here over here and got that <coughs> and the net has good position right there because you know weaknesses as caused by this pawn move over here so so that that net is in fine position next move not a problem I mean the net in front position but otherwise it's not doing any damage or harm whatsoever this is a very interesting thing over here right so basically control the squares over here and this is threatening my moving my rook over there so better be careful over there So put up the space there, yes, correct. Uh, over here. Oh, I should have uh, put the puzzle over there. Should I post the game over there because that's puzzle number two. Anyway, <laughs> well, it's a new format. I'm still trying to get used to it. So that's that. Mm hmm going I could have uh, another possibility I could have pushed a pawn over here take that take that over here now uh, puzzle number three uh, no number four over there yeah number four that that last one was not a puzzle number two. the last one was puzzle number three so this is puzzle number four <coughs> the king has just moved to F3 and I have tremendous amount of evaluation here. What should I do? All right, here's the answer. Check. That rook is gone. So I could have taken it with the rook, by the way, and immediately take that pawn. Uh, of course, the easy answer would be right here. I did not do that. Uh -huh. Okay, now I did that. Take that one. Take that one. Check. Uh -huh. uh, this is my priority is to make the king safe from check by the knight. So. I moved it over there. I could have moved over here also, so it's fine. Next move. 
This is puzzle number five. The king has just moved to g3. What should I do? Oh, right. This is what I do. Check. This is a very powerful move. Basically, I do this with a computer. Now, if the, if white does not take the rook with the knight, the, well, the king has to move to either this squares and then this pawn, I just take the pawn over there. So, so this is a very powerful move and materialistically speaking, what's gonna win material? So, check that, check that, check that. And this is the winning move. So I have a one game. What can resign at this point? So this is the end of the game. But of course, uh, what wants to play? Make uh, hopefully maybe waiting for me to be time out or clock out, run out of time over there. So I'll just go do, through this really quick. This is main draft. There's no way I can lose this game. You, as you can see, I, I'm outside the square. I'm outside the square over here. So, a simple way to calculate things, whether or not the king can catch the pawn, is to find a square over here, and if the king is outside the square, the king cannot catch up the pawn. So. And that's it. What we sign. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.